Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Um, as you probably have noticed, I try to do less gear videos, but I'm about to go on my, my trip to Nevis and, and I'll talk about what I end up deciding to bring in the end, but that's now what this is about. Uh, I've been doing the 52 frames challenge all along. I haven't missed a week yet. Uh, I've been 100% on it, which has been awesome. It's been pushing me to do a bunch of different things that I don't necessarily do on a day in day out basis. And it's, it's for, forcing me to learn. And this week in particular, it's way outside my comfort zone. It's something I don't like doing. It's not something I'm good at, but I want to give it a shot. And I, I have to get it done before I travel because candidly I won't have time to upload it before Sunday when the deadline is. And this week's challenge theme is Dreamscape. Now, to give you an example of what the 52 frame site kind of suggests as the themes, uh, as what kind of pictures to do, I'll pop a couple up right here. And it's just not, it's just not something that I'm, I'm really good or interested in. Um, but I do want to do something a bit different. And what I had in mind was, could I take a picture of like a flower or a plant or something, blur the background out, use some of that bokeh, but then replace, do some sky replacement stuff. I don't necessarily, like I said, I don't like doing this type of stuff. I think sky replacement and adding fake fog and all that stuff is kind of, uh, it's just not, I'll be careful. It's just not what I prefer. Let's leave it at that. Um, but nonetheless, I do want to give this a try and I want to see how I can do. And I happen to have a copy of Luminar Neo, the new Luminar Neo. Uh, they reached out to me, gave me a copy. This is not necessarily a sponsored post or anything, but it's a uh, software that allows photo editing that does a lot of this stuff really easily inside the program. So we're going to go out and take a shot and see if I can try and make this like dreamscape type of scene in harsh midday sunlight, which is what's going on right now, using Luminar Neo uh, to see if I kind of can achieve what I'm looking for. So let's go check it out. Okay, so we are in GoPro mode <clears throat> right now. Actually, this is the uh, first generation DJI Osmo action, if anybody cares. I've got the SL2S <clears throat> with the 28 to 70 on here. Um, I put a 10 stop variable ND filter on the front. It's Michigan, it's like our first warm weekend. Nothing's really out and bloomed or blossomed yet. But what I'm trying to do is walk down to this golf course at the end of the street here and see if I can find some old ferns that are blowing in the wind. And what I, my idea is, is to drag the shutter, which is why I have the ND filter on at like 1 15th or something, or even maybe purposely introduce camera shake to kind of create this like ethereal, that's the right word? I don't even know. To create this kind of like dreamy in the wind thing. And then I'll go mess with the background because it's so bright out right now. It's so high noon that uh, that's not gonna look very dreamish. So the first thing I need to do is capture this kind of uh, wisping in the wind dreamscape thing. Like one of these things right here. Here's what I'm looking at. You guys see this right here? One of those guys. They already move in the wind as it is, so I might not have to introduce camera shake unintentionally, but that's what I'm looking for. And I don't want to have anybody in the background. Look at all the golfers out here. Can you guys see all those golfers? Anyways, we're going to head back in the woods right here and see if I can find one of these ferns that's kind of isolated without people or distractions in the background. Okay. All right. This is a good one. So I think we have a winner, this guy right here. Even though I'm next to a telephone pole and there's stuff all around me, I shoot it in this direction, I think we're gonna be okay. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so I'm putting this thing in the center of my frame because it's the only focal point the problem I run into is that even with N10 stop ND filter on at ISO 100, F13 brings that background into focus a little bit. So I'm going to have to obviously mess around with that in post. But uh, what I'm trying to do is get this kind of like real blurry, whimsical, messy fern. Is that, I'm using words, I don't even know what they mean. Um, and that's what we're going to go for. We're going to shoot that. So um, here's the end result. I took one in color, this guy right here. And then I also took one in black and white, right here. 
Mm, here's the original for reference. I would say that this is probably a five out of 10 at most. It has a bit of a dreamy feel to it. I don't feel like that the fern thing is overly interesting. I'm not sure if a center composition was the right thing or not. Maybe if I had multiple kind of waving in the way, maybe that would be better. And then also, you notice I shot with those trees in the background. When I did the sky replacement, it obviously used the AI to just replace the sky. What I should have done has been more of an upward angle and shot into the sky directly just to have a ton of the stars and kind of go for that super fake look that this dreamscape thing is all about. Um, so uh, five out of 10, four out of 10, I think I could do a lot better. But the key point is I learned something here. I learned a lot about um, just thinking in that way and how to use that software and how to do that sky replacement. I think I could do a lot better. And I don't know, it was fun. These 52 frames things, if you guys aren't doing them, they're a lot of fun to push you to do things. This was extremely difficult and something I'm not overly interested in, which is why I wanted to make this video and share it with you guys. Uh, so yeah, you guys can comment section below. Success, failure, meh, mediocre. I'd be glad to hear your opinion. Anyways, uh, I'll see you guys soon. I'm gonna make a video, I think, talking about what I'm actually bringing to Nevis. Uh, I think you guys already know, but might as well before I head off on that actual trip. See you guys in the next video.